Hey there folks, today I am kicking off a week of Pokemon Battle Revolution battles up on this channel, but before I get started with that, I just want to bring your attention to Pokebox 5, where I have an OU battle posted. It's a decent battle, um, I, ur I urge you all to go check it out, you might notice the new layout thing, that's going to be permanent on all my battles from now on. And anyway, watch that battle, then come back and watch this one. Uh, it's a PBR battle, as I said, it's a UU doubles battle, even though there's no such thing as UU for for, um, there's no such thing as UU uh, for doubles, just basically there's not the usage in the simulators uh, to justify coming up with a UU tier. Even with all the VGC stuff, there still just is not enough, there just still have not been enough U, uh, doubles battles to justify coming up with a UU tier, uh, a tier of underused Pokemon. So anyway, um, looking at his Pokemon, uh, it seems like he's got a pretty balanced team. My opponent, by the way, is Toxic Gas Giant, I should probably mention that. So yeah, Waterfall Coliseum, probably my favorite Coliseum, it's just so beautiful. Um, and yeah, so, I'm gonna go ahead and lead off with Steelix and uh, Charizard. Pretty good combination considering uh, Steelix can feel free to go for Earthquakes with Charizard in the air, and Charizard is just a monster as a general concept. He leads off with Euxian uh, Rhyperior. Uh, I consider what to do, and I decide I'm actually going to go for the Hidden Power Grass against Rhyperior, and I think I might, I may or may not have calc it, but you know, 4x effective, I was pretty confident that it would one hit KO. Um, meanwhile, I'm going to have Hatterack, my Steelix, go for Gyro Ball. I target Uxie just to, you know, thinking well, hopefully it's a fast Uxie. Um, so yeah, Charizard is an absolute monster when it doesn't have to worry about rocks. Look at the, look at it, one hit KO that Rhyperior, no problem whatsoever. Now it does have a Life Orb, so. You know, that's not surprising, but it's still really awesome. So, oh, first kill goes to me. Yuxi goes for Calm Mind. That's really okay with me, I guess. Um, does mean that if I decide to have Charizard attack it, it's going to be a little bit harder. So, Hatterack goes for the Gyro Ball. It hits decently well, but this Yuxi obviously isn't uh, super duper EV trained for speed. Um, it's got the leftovers, and so it's probably going to be a pain to kill because Yuxis are just so bulky. Out now is going to come Alakazam. Uh, Alakazam is going to be prime um, gyro ball bait considering how frail and how fast it is. So yeah, Hatterack is definitely going to go for the gyro ball. Um, Charizard is going to stay in and continue to attack. I think I go for the Heat Wave just to target both Pokemon. Uh, don't 100% remember. Yeah, I go for the Heat Wave, uh, thinking that his Alakazam might actually be sashed. So, as you can see, that Alakazam is super duper frail. I get it down to its sash with just the uh, Heat Wave. That was actually a little bit surprising. Alakazam goes for the Psychic. Um, Charizard survives like a champ. Yuxi sets up the Stealth Rock, and so this really limit, limits my options with Charizard. I was thinking maybe I would switch it out and save it for later, but considering that it's under 50% health, and considering that the Stealth Rocks are up, the only thing that I could do with switching it out is send it in later as Death Fodder. You don't often see entry hazards in doubles. Um, basically, there's just not as much switching in doubles, um, but here my opponent actually did a pretty good move. Uh, setting that stuff up. So, anyway, Ninjask is going to take out my Charizard before I have a chance to do anything else. Ninjask is one of the fastest Pokemon in the game, and he realized how much of a threat Charizard was, so no surprise there. Yuxi's going to go ahead and go for the Shadow Ball. Uh, Hatterack resists it, which leads me to believe that his Yuxi has really no moves to hit um, my Hatterack with. I go for the Gyro Ball against Ninjask. That is going to uh, get it down to its Sash. So he's got lots of Sashes on his, his side, which... Um, you know, if I had entry hazards up, that would be good for me, but I just have never felt compelled to put entry hazards on one of my um, doubles teams, you know, even in Gen 5. So now I consider who to send out next. Uh, I have a lot of options, and I decide I'm going to go ahead and send out Tachikoma, which is my cute, adorable little Rotom. Uh, if you've seen battles on my channel, you know that I name all of my Rotoms, no matter what form they are. I name them all Tachikoma. It's a reference to Ghost in the Shell. Um, I go for the Shadow Ball here against Yuxi I, to just do the super effective damage, and I'm going to be able to KO Ninjask with another Gyro Ball, so that's not going to be no problem at all. Uh, Ninjask goes ahead and goes for the Protect. Uh, there's really no purpose to that. I mean, he already outspeeds my entire team. Uh, that's really just a wasted turn. Um, Yuxi is taking, takes that Shadow Ball like a champ, I mean I know it's at plus one, but even so, and Yuxi's gonna fire back with a plus one Shadow Ball, uh, Tachikoma is gonna survive with barely any HP, and so now next turn I expect that my opponent is, oh yeah, I get a Pattaya Berry activation, 
but unless that was Salak, it's really not going to help me because his um, Ninjask is almost certainly going to attack my uh, my Tachikoma next turn. Really nothing I can do to block it. He goes for the x or even resisted, that is going to kill. Um, so down goes my cute, adorable little Rotom, and that is too bad. Um, so bye-bye Rotom, it didn't really get to do too much in this game, but that's that's the way the cookie crumbles. Uh, Yuxi goes for the Calm Mind, it is now at plus two, it is a huge, huge threat to me. I need to take it out as soon as freaking possible. I have Hatterak go for the Stone Edge, so I think he might do a little bit more damage. Um, truthfully, I would probably be better off with the Gyro Ball, considering Stone Edge has awful, awful accuracy. Um, so yeah, I consider who to send out next. Um, I decide, uh, basically, you know, I have a bunch of options. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and actually send out Angler, which is my Lantern, figuring that it should, you know, it's a pretty bulky Pokemon and it should be able to wall most hits from my opponent. So Ninjask here goes for the x Scissor, and I'm just hoping it can survive because I am specially defensive, not physically defensive. I take that hit like a champ. Uh, good job, Lantern. Yuxi goes for the Shadow Ball here. They're tag-teaming my Lantern. That did even less because, as I said, Lantern is so damn bulky. Uh, Lantern is going to go for the Thunderbolt here, take out that Ninjask. Now I don't have to worry about it anymore. Um, you know, Ninjask isn't that threatening really without um, some Swords Dances behind it. So Hatterak here goes for a Gyro Ball, takes out that Yuxi, and that is excellent for me. That is just super duper excellent. So now my opponent is down to relatively few Pokemon. Um, in a second I'll be able to tell you just how many Pokemon. And this battle is going pretty well for me. Uh, Angler recovers a bit of health with Leftovers. And my opponent now sends out Blastoise uh, and Weezing. So yeah, I think now he has three left. No, these are his last two Pokemon. That's excellent for me. So now Angler is going to go for the T-Bolt against Blastoise. Hatterak, I am going to keep it in even though, you know, it is... I'm just asking to be hit by a water type move. Um, but I figure if I lose Hatterak, I lose Hatterak. It's not the end of the world. I am, you know, I am up by a considerable margin. So a Angler actually outspeeds his Blastoise, goes for the T-Bolt, is not going to take him out. Um, Blastoise actually goes for the Earthquake, so it's a physical Blastoise. Uh, Angler survives that like a freaking champ. Weezing is levitating in the air, so that's okay. Um, Steelix survives, doesn't really take that, uh, you know, I mean, doesn't really hurt at all. Um, Angler is going to take get taken out by a Sludge Bomb. You know, that's the way these things go. Angler did its job, it did a lot of damage and tanked a lot of hits. And that is really amazing. Hatterak I had go for the Stone Edge against Weezing. Uh, it missed, and that's not great, but, oh uh, well. Uh, so now I'm going to send out my Gardevoir, uh, nicknamed Kira. And out it's going to go. And, uh, you know, I can hit that, I can hit that Weezing with a Psychic, super effective, and I'm hoping it'll take it out. Uh, although, you know, Weezings tend to be pretty bulky, and I don't think, I don't remember the set this thing is running, whether it's running uh, Modest or any investment in Special Defense, or Special Attack, rather. I have uh, Steelix go for the Stone Edge against Blastoise. Blastoise goes for the Hydro Pump. It misses, so this is a mixed Blastoise, quite interesting. Uh, Kira goes for the Psychic. It is uh, actually going to one-hit KO that, uh, that Weezing, so I suspect that I run quite a bit of um, special attack investment on this build of Gardevoir. Um, Hatterak goes for the Stone Edge, it misses, and that's less than fortunate, but um, next turn I'm just going to call back Hatterak, just don't want to take a Water Spout to the face, uh, and I send out Kudzulu, my Tangrowth, uh, in its place. It's going to resist Hydro Pump, and that's going to be great for me. Blastoise is going to go for the Hydro Pump after all. It is going to hit this turn. Ain't going to do jack to my Kudzulu. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and hit his Blastoise with a Psychic. That is going to not... Actually, it's not going to take him out. He survives with just a little tiny bit of HP. Next turn, uh, his Hydro Pump misses. Doesn't really matter. Psychic is going to take him out, and that is going to be the game. So, great game, Toxic Gas Giant. Uh, it's always fun to do PBR. I actually really miss the PBR days. I cannot wait for the Gen 5 P um, you know, PBR equivalent to come out. Comment, rate, subscribe, and challenge, folks.